advice from who? Someone who's not living in 2023? Someone who's not thriving? Fuck living. We don't want to just live. We want to thrive. And that old blueprint, that old system is dead. It doesn't work. If you're not understanding that most of those routes are closed to you, you need to wake the fuck up because your personal brand, selling something on social media and using the internet for massive amounts of sales by providing value is the only way to do it. I don't want you to just to sell something just to sell it. I want you to sell something you're passionate about. Sell something you can't fucking live without. That's how my life is. I sell what I can't live without. I cannot even function correctly without my mind right. And I can't have the clarity and keep my mind right without the workouts and the conscious congruent behaviors. You guys, your conscience is the only thing that's infallible. You're listening to people. Don't even listen to me. Don't listen to me. If your conscience really tells you it's okay to have tits and be a soft ass bitch of a man, then go right the fuck ahead and do it. But I know it doesn't because coming down from above, men are supposed to be something in this world. They're supposed to be leaders. They're supposed to be the guys. They're supposed to be the ones that can provide and protect. And I know how fucking bad it hurts you men deep in your soul that you have to keep telling your son, your daughter, your wife, your people, no. You have to tell them no about stuff that you should be able to say yes about. Yes, we can go on that vacation. Yes, we can get that new car. Yes, we're moving into that bigger house. Yes, you can get that. Yes, we can pay for that fur further education from a reliable source that's crushing it in the field. Not some stupid fucking school where you go learn financial advice from a broke dick bitch of a professor. Fuck is that? Why did you guys fall for all that? Why did you guys go learn business advice from a guy who has no money? Who the fuck thought that was a good choice? Fuck, they got you motherfuckers. You guys are so stupid that you thought that you were gonna go learn dope ass business advice from a guy with no money. Fuck, whoa. What has, what has come to the, it's official. You guys will buy anything if you'll buy that. I don't want you to buy anything though. Not from me, not from anyone. If it doesn't spark your soul on fire. What I do right here, these videos for you is the most important part of my life. These are those books. Those books that helped me when I was on the floor of that cell in tears, broken, not knowing what to do. And I'm able, after I healed myself, to pass on everything I learned to you guys. And that's why I understand that that's what we must do. We must first self-actualize, then we must transcend self. Self-actualization, then self-transcendence is the only goal. That's why when people get too successful and they don't become the teacher, they become very negative. They are actually too smart and they found out too much. They've gained too much wisdom so that now they have a pessimistic view of society and the world. Instead of being truly wise, stepping back and saying, maybe they're just like me before I got to where I'm at. And maybe I'm the one who's supposed to facilitate the masses towards further education of mind, body, and soul growth that leads to a tangible life that is a quality existence that anybody would love to live. I love you guys so much because you guys gave me everything. I would be nothing without you guys, but then again, you guys teach me back as much as I've taught you. Every time I put out a crazy topic, someone is in the comments of my Instagram or YouTube finishing that topic, like really polishing it. So I know you guys know. And it gives me hope back in humanity because when I, when I go in normal establishments, I don't understand what's happening. If I go in like a real normal establishment where it's like a normal burger place or something, people are running around with such 
poor behavior, such poor character and ethics. They're put together so poorly, not caring how people view or judge them, that it fucks me up. But then when those same people go into an establishment that's a higher standard, why do they change? Why do they change when they go in the burger place and they're just running around like chickens with their fucking heads cut off, running into people, zero fucking personal space, zero manners, zero quality behavior. But then when they go into that quality establishment with their family, they dress different. They act different. They're composed. Why the fuck does the character change? No matter what, what, what room Wes Watson's in, his character doesn't change. <laughs> I don't just go walking in rooms yelling like this if that's what some of you stupid fucks want to push on me. I have the utmost respect in every room I'm in. And I only speak when it's my fucking turn. But when it's my turn, I'm going to teach. I'm going to teach. I'm going to take it upon me to lead and guide. But I'm still shocked that all you motherfuckers don't realize that your character should not change because you're in five fucking guys burgers or you're in some upscale steakhouse. The fuck is the matter with you? Conduct yourself the same way in every fucking place. Doesn't matter where you're at. You don't just fall apart in public because there's a different fucking door or a different sign above the establishment, you fucking idiots. Hold it the fuck together. There's people watching who could change your fucking stupid life. There's one thing that I've never been jaded about. That there is people above me that I will take advice from because they're in the place I want to be at. And I'll fucking listen. That's what you guys need to fucking learn. Quit acting like you don't want someone's position because... You may get critiqued in a fashion that bruises your little bitch ass ego. Wake the fuck up, conduct yourself with character, have some fucking dignity, and pull up right. I love you guys. I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be here. Let's go!